Hello and welcome back to Lord Fan Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fan, and today's Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition video. We are still in Chapter Two, Neverwinter Wood, Deep Woods, and we're also going to be doing the Nymph's House and some kind of creepy cave. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Dungeons and Dragons content like this and Neverwinter Nights content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. Now, in the last video, we did some side activities, including getting a ward stone, body knox tail, and finally grabbed some uh, quests and uh, took off some poor elf's ear. Now, we're in the deep woods, and we're going to clear out this whole entire area here, including the uh, two sub zones. We're going to have to attack this dryad first before we continue. No quarter! Leave me, foul creature. I'm getting to it. I have decided to spare the Dryad. I felt like killing her would be wrong. Still, she is alive. Still, let's keep on going. This is very cool right here. We're just going to heal up right now. Get everybody healed up. Good to go. And I'm going to do some more exploration before we do anything else. Oh, wow. Lily just took out that Bambi with one shot of her spell. <laughs> and there's a tree house. Yeah, I think that's the nymph's house right here. We're going to explore it. So let's zone in. There we go. We're inside now. So what's going to happen is we're going to meet, fight some slaves. And we're going to look for our first druid here in this video. There are a total of three druids. We're going to save two. One more is going to be for the next video. However, we're going to speak with the nymph and get some information why the spirit of the woods also went bonkers. And what we're going to do right now is uh, take care of business down the hall right ahead. <laughs> Let's see what's inside this room right here. What this nymph has. Let's bust down the door and then uh, check it out. Okay. Hey there. Thank you. 
I have decided to not kill him. He's just an innocent person who just got whammy by the uh, nymph right here. Yeah, we have to figure out what's wrong with her. She's still part of this forest right here, and I just don't want to take off the droids by killing her. Now, if I was playing an evil playthrough, yeah, a lot of people would have died in this video. Seriously. Or I should say, let's play series. Because it would have been more fun. Now, neutral just would have flipped a coin. And that's about does it right there. All right, that looks good right there. That's some decent money here. Might as well check everything else out. Okay, that was a nice urn. Let's see how much money it costs when I break it. There you go. It's been broken. Yep, I broke it on purpose. So what? She has insurance. She could pay for it. Let's see what's uh over here in a few moments. Oh, that's not a bad spell right there. Lesser Restoration. That's pretty nice right there. Seriously, that is really nice. So we're going to go over here. Now we're going to have to face more slaves. And then we're going to have to go explore some more. Die! The Arch of Die and be forgotten! <laughs> <laughs> I am wondering how this nymph got so many slaves. I am serious. She must have sucked some evil people or uh, bandits try to rob her house. She whammy him and that's it right there. And they're in life of servitude to her. Now, since we opened this door up, we're going to face some fairies that's straight ahead right here. They're very easy. Griggs and uh, Pixies and fairies. Yep, the Pixies, Fairies, and Griggs. Let me uh, explain about them. They cast Root constantly or Ensnare. And it's a pretty annoying. However, they are weak. Great news is they drop a huge supply of Fairy Dust. It's like a 100% drop rate. If you are doing Recipe to Forge that requires Fairy Dust, you're in luck. They have a nice supply of them in this chapter, along with the Gargoyle Skulls. Everything else is rare. And great thing about fairy dust is also, like I said before, you can make weapons if you're a dual wielder. Well, you got two weapons to make now, which is really uh, good. Especially if they are light weapons. So let's go uh, loot this up before we actually uh, do anything else here. Yeah, we got to clear this area here. Since we are done looting everything here and getting extra supplies of fairy dust, what I am going to do is there's a room up ahead we're going to do. And there is one of the druids. Oh yeah, we're doing the two of the three druids in today's video. If I would have had more time, I would have just did number three. But that's for the next video. Still, we're just going to complete some of the parts of the quests here for this video. And that's pretty uh, good. So I'm going to go over here. There's this door up ahead. As soon as we bust it open, we got to speak with this druid here. He has some valid information. So let's go speak with him now and then see what's uh, going on. Hello. That right there is one of three druids right here. We also got more information, which is really good right here. Seriously, that is really good. Yeah, so you definitely want to save these druids right here. We save all three druids. You get a decent reward, which is actually uh, pretty uh, decent. I say so myself. Still, we're going to rest up before we do anything else. We have a few more rooms to explore before we actually end the nymph's house. And then we're going to go into the uh, caves. Yeah, we're going to do a lot in the deep woods today. whole lot. This entire zone, there are two sub-zones in here. We're going to finish them up. 
Let's check what's inside. All right, there's just storage. Ooh, heal critical wounds. Well, cure critical wounds, but you all get the point. Oh, that is nice right there. Second best potion in the game. Best potions are heal potions. Heals you up big time, which is really nice. So I'm gonna go over here, check everything else out. Nothing else there, so. Now up ahead, there'll probably be another set of uh, slaves or a uh, fairy type of foes we're gonna have to deal with. So we're gonna go over here. What we're gonna do is bust open the door and take out some crazy people. No quarter! <laughs> Victory will be ours! Die! Die and be forgotten! Solenus <laughs> Amaka! So let me see here. Let's go loot some things up right now. This room is important. I'm going to say this right now. Very important. Yeah, there's one, the uh, Henchman Tales quest items here. However, this one's locked. I believe it is this one right here. We get this one, then we're down to one more Henchman. And that's it for the Henchman Tales for uh, this chapter right here. And yes, I will make a separate guide for those. Why? I want to help people out as much as possible for these tales right here. Yeah, it's one of those uh, nice guides right here. Just point out where the item is at. And plus, why you should upgrade the uh, Chapter 1 items. That's what's great about the original campaign I like is because they uh, flesh out the uh, henchmen. Gave them their own tales. And you got some nice rewards from it. My only disappointment was that Shadows of Iron Titan and Hordes in the Other Dark lacked that. And by the way, that nymph's hair is Charween, the uh, bard right here. I'll uh, definitely turn that in one of these days, but not now. I am on a quest in the East Road, the Neverwinter Woods right here. Yeah, seriously, I'm on a quest for that. So for now, we're going to check everything else out because we're the Neverwinter Militia. Yeah, that means we get to do anything what we want. Well, technically, you're supposed to be doing that in the borders of Neverwinter, not outside. Still, this is my excuse to just loot everything up. And loot everything that is not locked down nor trapped unless you have, you're a rogue or Tomai is in your party. Which, by the way, he's a good rogue. He's a fun rogue, too. So I'm going to go over here right now and just check everything else out. Let's see what's over here. That's nice. like a fountain right there for the nymph. Yeah, we're stealing her money, too. I do need money. Seriously, I do need a lot of money. So we're we'll gonna go over here, just uh, keep on looking around. I'm sweeping this whole place, by the way. Just in case people wants to, uh, you know, see what kind of loot they could get here. And plus, like for instance, we found the lock of hair. That's a henchman tail right there we did find. So as soon as we uh, open one of these doors here, we're gonna get ourselves into trouble. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad. We looted some goodies here and yeah, take out some more nymph slaves. Yeah, they're probably bandits really. I mean, come on. They try to rob her house and then she whammy them and that's it there. Still, you can't keep slaves. Seriously, we're going to open this door up and it'll be more uh, trouble. Well, that was those little troublemakers, or I should say freeloaders. Yeah, I'm officially saying it. Those fairies are freeloaders. They just want some food, drink from the nymph, and that's it right there. Yeah, seriously, we have to take care of these freeloaders. There's so many of them in this house right here. If there's any more, yeah. We're going to kill some freeloaders because that's how I roll in this game here. Might as well collect a bag full of fairy dust because I'm doing a guide. Just don't get too obsessive. 
Okay, this is funny. I'm trying to loot it and it's just going attacking the box right here. Yeah, it's definitely attacking the box. And oh, that's not bad. Some bolts. I might as well take that for now. Some extra bolts help because I'm using those uh, crossbows just to uh, shoot uh, items from a long distance, such as uh, chests and uh, containers that are trapped, including doors too. Well, I've been spring them lately because I feel my uh, Red Dragon Disciple hit points are starting to seriously uh, kick in at this point. So now next up, what we're going to do is open up the other door. As soon as we open up the other door, there will be some trouble up ahead. So we're going to clear this room out, and I'll go explore this room. Let's check this chest out. Well, besides we did a great job clearing out some slaves here, because we uh, did. Now, we're going to check this room out some more. If there is not any more loot, let me explain what's going on. Next up is the nymph right here. You will have a choice to kill her or not kill her. Either way, she's going to supply some valid information. Seriously, some valid information. Why is that? We need to gather some information on how to enter uh, a certain area in the uh, heart of the uh, woods which is going to be for the next video but for now we're going to speak with this nymph right here and get some serious answers from her I decided against killing the nymph. Besides, she allows to lose up this chest right here. Now, there's a magic mirror right here. Let me explain about that. Now, in the uh, next video, there will be a house. That's the item that this uh, witch will uh, require. You know what? We're going to cut out the mailman for the next video. That's why we're grabbing it now. So, the nymph house is officially done and over with, which is really uh, good news. Next up is the uh, cave full of spiders. That is correct, a cave full of spiders. We're going to become spider exterminators, plus edder caps too. Oh yeah, and also the second druid is inside the uh, cave, so we're going to be taking care of business with that. So we're going to go over here and just keep on going. After we uh, keep on going, we're going to be out of this area here and back into the woods. Yeah, the uh, deep woods. So far so good, we have figured out... Partly what's went wrong with the spirit, spirits of the uh, woods here. Yeah, we uh, done that. However, we have to still uh, kill some animals, including Bambi. And there's another Bambi. Time to die! So, let me see here. There's so many violent animals here. Thanks to the spirit of the woods somehow going bonkers. Yeah, we're definitely going to cure that. Just trust me. Oh boy, there's a dire boar. We're going to get some dire meat. Ah! 
That is all clear for now. So what we're going to do uh, next here, we're going to enter this cave right here. We're going to clear it out. First, we see some editor caps right here. And we see some spires most likely up ahead. So let's uh, do this. As I said before, there are a whole bunch of spiders and edder caps. And here's the thing right here. There's these cocoons. Please be a, a nice female woman who is also a great thief in the game. So she could join our party. Oh, wait a second. She joins our party in another game called Land of Lords. And what happens is she ditched you for the Oracle. Or Draracle, whatever his name was. She was a great rogue. I mean, she was one of the best rogues in the entire game. And we lost her. I mean, oh, man, come on. Still, I wish I would have had her. She would have been great for this game. Oh, yeah, no more sending Lin Lu to her death on traps. No, we just let this uh, one female uh, rogue just take care of business. Yeah, that's just an old game reference from me. Which is on goodoldgames.com, by the way. Yeah, you get that. Plus many other games, too. Seriously, we're going to rest up. We're going to do some more uh, clearings here. And our objective for this area here is saving a druid. That will be two or three druids we'll be saving for this video. Why? We have to. We're good guys for this Let's Play. If it's evil, we'll save him and then we'll murder him. That's how we uh, roll. <laughs> Well, that's another one dead. However, we're going to just loot up some uh, more cocoons right here, which is very uh, cool. You know what? I have enough looking at that shield long enough. Yeah, let me try to organize the inventory. Oh, you can't do it. I'm going to move this over here, and let's move this uh, over here. Yeah, I'm supposed to not do my inventory organization. However, I am so curious on what kind of shield that is, and let's see what it is. Oh, that is a nice shield right there. Oh, versus undead. Oh, I am taking that definitely in case I have to face some Draco liches. Or uh, liches, vampires, mummies, you name it. That bonus AC against them is pretty good. Might as well abuse that. You may never know. Charwood may be full of undead. So we're going over here, take out more spiders, and it's Ilk up ahead. Do the fight! <laughs> This is getting more interesting right here. We're taking out the trash in this uh, area here. Yeah, the small cave, but still, we're taking out the trash. Oh, whoa, 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 that is nice right there. Well, great news is I have high strength, so I get to almost carry uh, anything at this point. We're going to have to clear out some more uh, up ahead, so this way we're still looking for that druid. No quarter! We are killing definitely more uglies, also looting up more bodies, and of course cocoons. Yeah, they have loot. Sorry, adventurers who failed. We're getting your goods. Yep, yep, we are so getting your uh, goods. 
Yeah, so far so good. We're uh, clearing everything out. There is a spider queen. Yeah, well, eventually going to meet that spider queen. Remember that uh, challenge we did a few videos ago? Well, we get to meet them again. That's the same ones. However, we have a few levels this time, and we should take care of them big time. That is a whole bunch of troublemakers that just went down. We're almost done with this cavern right here. Why Lin Lu is blasting this air cap into oblivion, which is really good. I'm just going to whack on it while I'm talking. And yeah, so far so good. We're almost, almost done. We almost found the druid here, which is very important at this point. We definitely need that druid. If we don't find the druid, yeah, we're not going to be able to complete that quest and uh, get more information. That's very important. You want more information on the spirit of the uh, woods right here. Yeah, we do need more information. And there you go. Ooh, a blessed potion. That's uh, pretty uh, good right here. Now, up ahead is the Spire Queen, and we have to uh, seriously do some serious combat. Here we uh, go. <laughs> The Spider Queen is officially toast. We have to open up one of these cocoons here. As soon as we do that, we will save the druid here. So let's uh, do it. Pleased to see you. This is good right here. That is two or three right there. However, we did not clear the rest of this cavern right here. We're going to go the other way. Before we do that, let's see what's uh, some loot here. Mm, nothing. I think they just dropped uh, Ericot glands. Up ahead will be the last remnants of this uh, cave here of, of foes. Let's take care of them. Yeah. 
Yep, we are firing our way out right now, which is uh, pretty good. Yeah, we should fire our way out since uh, we are also getting much experience points as we do need. Yeah, we do need that experience points. Especially my character's on experience penalty because I am multi-class. What we're going to do over here is clear out some more foes. All right, we are almost done with this cavern right here, and then we'll uh, call it a day. Now, uh, that's a nice small shield for those of you who like small shields right here. That's not a bad one. Well, I think I cannot identify them. Oh, well. Well, I got some nice uh, magical bolts right here. I'm not using magical bolts, unfortunately. Nope, I am not heavily specced into that. In other words, I don't have the uh, feats for it. Yeah, I have the uh, Scrimitar feats. That's much better anyways for my setup. More crits, more kills. That's how I uh, roll. And there's another cocoon right here. Let's bust this open. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And we're almost out of here. Yep, so far today we have found two druids, which is very good. And we're almost on our way to the heart of the woods. Yeah, I'll end the video once we uh, actually uh, get there. However, on the way there, we're going to have to face some more uh, hostile animals, including many forms of angry Bambies. Oh yes, there are so many Bambies here, we gotta kill. If you like Bambi, I'm sorry. They are not in control of themselves, and there's nothing I could do about it. And let's see if I can look for them right now, actively. So, here we go! <laughs> This is pretty good right here. We're uh, clearing this area out on our way to the heart of the woods right here. Yep, we have to do it. Otherwise, yeah, it'll be big trouble. So, there's going to be the last remnants of uh, combat here before I enter the woods and officially end the video from here. <laughs> Let's uh, go over here, get to the zoning of the heart of the woods right here. I'll end the uh, video here. Yeah, I went the wrong way. However, good news is I think I cleared almost everything out in deep woods, which is really uh, good here. And while I'm going over here, let me uh, give a nice recap of today's uh, video here. First of all, we killed many uh, Bambies and a Dryad. Got some information from her. Second, we went to Nymph's house, cleared all that out. Got Shaween's... Uh, lock of nymph hair finally we went inside some cave and save some druids which is two of three right here now our next video we're going to be doing the heart of the woods a witch's house some cave and finally we're going to enter a spirit realm well that's it for my neverwinter night enhanced edition chapter two neverwinter wood deep woods and nymph house this is lord fenton signing off please like comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.